The two primary inputs to the Timer Pro model and scheduling module are the production schedule itself and obviously the actual multiple models with all the options in an assembly process right over here. Now, these can all be developed in Timer Pro, but if you're looking for a quicker way to get started, Timer Pro also provides that to you. If I go back to my detail flowchart, as you can see here, here are all the main processes, but it can also be populated from an Excel template of processes by model with all the possible options. That's what we're going to cover in this video to show you how easily you can get started. If you don't want to develop everything within Timer Pro, you can take your existing data and put it into an Excel template. Here we are over in Timer Pro, we click on the file option here. We say new models and schedule. Now when you call this, it automatically assumes you've already got the processes in Timer Pro. In the event that you don't, you can click on the cancel here and you get options here saying a new Excel template or you can open an existing Excel template. We're going to do the new Excel template. I just click on it and it brings up a template that you can then customize to your own particular needs here. Okay, we look at what's on here. Over here we have the tasks. This would be the individual stations that the product goes through. Then we have option percent and option name. You can see down here, this would be a 25% of option number one. And here we're using the technique of using a specific color, in this case, the light blue, to identify our options throughout the process. Then we get groupings. In the oven process here, we can prepare the mold mixture and insert in the oven and activate. You can also just enter a specific time for the entire process. You can see up here, parts processing has a value of 15. The setup has a value of 18. There's no details here. Whereas in the oven process, we do have details. We then identify whether the activities are value added, non value added or required, value added with a V or leave a blank. R for required, non value added, N for non value added. And here is the times here. And you can also put in the number of operators here as well, if it's more than one operator working on the job here. Uh, over here, we can use detail. This is a flag that we use. You can see here my oven process. I've got a time of 12 here for the total process, but if I wanted to use the detail, this is where you might have more information. I can just click on the cell here, or put an X in here. Over here, you can define up to 30 models, model A, model B, model N, so keep on going out here, and you can identify which ones are used where now. We've got some nice techniques in here. If I take away all of these guys here and just delete them, I can put them back in just by taking my mouse and just dragging them here. If you do that, it will put the X's next to the actual summary grouping time here. So if one of these doesn't apply, I can just click on this and take it out here. This makes it very easy to populate your entire sheet. If many options apply to everything, again, all you do is just I can delete them here. Just take your mouse and drag it over the area here and it will automatically insert them all there for you so you don't have to go and do it manually. And then you can just remove the individual items that don't apply to the specific models here. And when you're finished, you just select your time unit at the top here and then click on Send to Balance. And then we select our tag time here. Let's say six is good, I just click on it and it will change all the groupings to the colors you selected back over in the Excel sheet. So look here, the oven process is green, the setup is gold, and the parts processing is yellow. If you go back to your Excel sheet, whatever color you put in here is the color that appears over in the chart here. To show you that, I'm going to close out of this. Let's change the color of the parts processing. I click on it, I come up here, this is going to be my background color, and let's say I wanted to make it purple instead. Here's my purple. I click on the send to balance. It comes in and I click on my tag time and you can see now it's purple over here. So whatever color you put in your Excel template is how it appears as a grouping over in the actual process. Now here we go back one more time. You can see in here I've got two models, model A, model B. Not all tasks are used every place. So you can see that right there. If I go back to the balancing area, here's model A and Model B, so it's automatically populated directly in here without having to develop it in Timer Pro. The next video in this section will show you how you can create a process with just all summary data and how you can create a process with detailed data.